In this video, I'm going to share with you guys my top Shinkansen travel hacks. So I've traveled on the Shinkansen many times over the last 15 years, but traveling with local people and Maiko, I found out that they have a lot of tips offer that I didn't know myself. So I wanted to take all their tips and all the steps that I know and put them all in one video. So in today's video, we're going to take the Tokaido Shinkansen, which takes you to major cities like Nagoya, Osaka, and Kyoto. All right, so let's get started. Let's start with cheaper tickets. A lot of people get tickets from the ticketing machine like this one. Ticketing machines are the most convenient way to buy a ticket and the menus are offered in several different languages making it super accessible for most tourists who know where they're going. Also there are ticket offices where someone will help guide you through the purchase which is super nice if you're a new traveler. But what a lot of people don't know is that there's cheaper ways to buy tickets. The first way to get cheaper tickets is to buy the Parata Kuroma tickets which are offered at the JR Tokai tour offices. You can save more than 2,000 and yen which is about $20 depending on where you go. It does have some restrictions though. First of all, there are three types of Shinkansen, Nozomi, Hikari, and Kodama. Nozomi is the fastest and makes the least amount of stops, while Kodama is the slowest and stops at each station. You can only take the Kodama train which stops at every station along the route. You can only use it at major stations, you must get on and off at the specified station, otherwise you'll have to pay for a second ticket at full price. Also you have to book one day in advance at the store or five days in advance online. But don't worry, I'll leave a link to all this information in the description. But one thing you need to know about these tickets is that it's on the Kodama train, which is the slowest Shinkansen train. So I would recommend buying these tickets if you're going somewhere close because the train makes a lot of stops. And the second option to get cheaper tickets is at the Kinken shops. Let me explain. Kinken shops are discounted ticket shops. You can find these little stalls scattered throughout the entire city. You can purchase discounted one-way tickets from them, cheaper than if you bought them from the station. Just make sure to buy tickets for the right dates. Oh, and the ticket shop sells lots of other discounted tickets like department store gift cards, theme park tickets, movie passes, and even McDonald's coupons. All right, so let's talk about reserved and unreserved seats. Now, reserved seats are a little more expensive, maybe roughly around 1,000 to 2,000 yen. So if you guys wanna save money, then I recommend buying the unreserved seats. So if you're planning to save some money and get an unreserved seats, there's a few things that you need to know because you will be competing with other passengers for the same seats. Exits on train platforms are generally in the middle. So what you'll find is that the middle carts on trains are usually the more crowded ones. So what you want to do is go to the ends of the trains for the least crowded seats. But I would stay away from the first and the last cart because those train carts are generally smaller. The reason being is because the driver seats are in that location which makes the cart even smaller. So if you're at the front of the train, I would say get on cart number two, which gives you a better chance of getting an unreserved seat. Oh, and for those of you who purchased a reserved ticket but miss your train, you can use that same ticket on a later train and get on an unreserved seat. So let's talk about a cool trick, it's called flipping the seats. If you're in a group, you can flip the seats like this. Make sure to put it back when you're done. If you're bringing luggage with you, remember that the only space that you have is the overhead compartment above your seat, which is not that much for international travelers. Oh, and don't think to store your luggage in the vestibule area in between carriages, as this is strictly prohibited. And there's no designated space for large luggage in these area like in the Narita Express and Skyliner trains. But little hint, you can reserve the back seats and use this extra space here. And if you're flipping the seats, you can also use this space too. Here's another tip for those of you who are looking to charge your laptop or your phone while you're riding the train. Basically, there's two types of Shinkansen. There's a 700, which is the older model, and there's the N700, which is the newer models. The newer models have electrical outlets next to each window on every aisle, just like this one right here. While the 700s only sometimes have outlets, so if you really, really want an outlet, then definitely take an N700 train. Now, if there's going to be several of you that want to charge at the same time, then definitely bring a splitter. One more thing, each cart should have electrical outlets at the front and the rear of the train, so even if you're on a 700, then you can try to find one at the front or the rear if you want to try to book one of those seats maybe that might be more convenient for you all right so let's talk about Wi-Fi yes there is a free Wi-Fi in the Shikansen provided by JR it's pretty easy to access the only thing they'll ask is for you to register an email address it's not the fastest speed but better than nothing right oh and for those of you who don't like the middle seat you guys might want to know that the middle seat is five centimeters wider than the aisle seat and the window seat 
pretty cool, right? One thing you might want to know is that the food carts are only available on Nozomi and Hikari trains, not on Kodama. So if you're riding on Kodama, definitely snag your food and drinks in advance. Also, prices are more expensive on the food carts compared to prices outside, so I suggest you use it as a last resort if you didn't have time to pick up your snacky snack on the way to the train. And so these are the green seats. I wanted to show you this area because, well, it's actually just pretty premium and if you want to like have a better ride, then you can actually come here. So on the way back from Tokyo, we're taking the green car, which is actually not so bad. It just costs a little bit more, but pretty nice, don't you think? What's nice about these green seats is you just have more space all together. Plus, you get a cool footrest and you get a seat warmer. Check this out. So there's a tray here, but if you want, there's actually a tray here too. There's a second tray. So this button here allows you to recline just like that and then press up and it moves you forward you don't actually have to like put any additional pressure on it which is nice first class they actually give you wet towels all right this includes my top shinkansen travel hacks if these hacks helped you out help me out and hit that like button let me know in the comments how you think the japan shinkansen train compares to your country also for those frequent travelers let me know how many of these hacks you knew about already and if you want more japan travel tips hit that subscribe button as i upload a video once every week on saturday mornings japan time catch you guys in the next one